Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Sir Dinger and welcome back to Guardians of the Galaxy, a Telltale series. I am quickly just doing this intro right now because otherwise the second I get in the game I won't be able to give the intro for the next like three minutes. So yeah, we're about to jump straight into a cutscene and I'll see you there. It's only like our lives depend on it. Get off my back! There's no friggin' way in hell I'm getting rid of this. I'm sacrificing all my extra knives and swords. How many swords do you have? Meanwhile, Rocket won't give up one of his guns. Yeah, but check it out. Not now, not ever. I built this thing with my own two paws. Just please, focus on your own things. We have to get as light as possible, so it's time for some hard choices. Thank you, random understand. poster in the background. Possessions are meaningless. All that matters is the trail of blood we leave after slaughtering those who have wronged us. Oh, that's some image. After our shared experience, Quill, I discarded everything. Even the things that reminded me of my beloved Kamaria and Hovat. You kept your knives, though, right? Hovat and Kameria? Yes. <laughs> but perhaps I should give them new, less familial names. No, you should keep them with the same names. Benny and the Jets. They were great warriors of Earth? You know they were. Top of the charts. Then I have given away everything except Benny and the jets. Oh dear. What have I done? I still think you should you have kept that, them. Drax went and threw everything away. You should follow his example. Why? Shouldn't our leader set the example? You hear that, Groot? I guess Drax is our leader now. I am leader? Your room is still full of keepsakes, Peter. Since I'm the leader now, I request <laughs> they all kneel before me. Of course. No, no. Just, just stop. Let me show you how it's all done. Okay, I'm gonna go back to my room and sacrifice the crap out of some personal stuff. She coming in for that Peter Dick. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> oh man. Where to start? Throwing away their belongings is certainly upsetting the others. What is it about these things? Why do they hold so much emotional weight? Why does your loyalty to things outweigh your devotion to others? These things aren't just things. They define us. <laughs> I'm a long way from home. Yeah. These are the last reminders I have of who I am. I'm thinking I'm gonna throw away this There's because. You. Of course. Hello, Peter. I will think about this more. There is much I can learn from you, it seems. One thing I learned about the Guardians is nobody ever makes sense. That's true. All right. <clears throat> Let's get started. Uh, what's this trophy for? I'm curious. Oh, man. This one's pretty emotional for me. My first hunt back on Rayjack. <laughs> Finished first place for taking down a massive. I sense a lie. Last place. This was a <laughs> trophy just for participating. It's a big ass trophy for participating. Screw the pity prize. Yondu gave me this. Not sure how he'd feel knowing I dumped it. This Yondu has a strange way of showing affection. He has a lot of strange ways. I think you should keep that. Hey, it's the thought that counts. Something personal. It'll remind you of him. Obviously, you're, you're keeping the picture. The photo of me and mom. You should keep that. It weighs little in your hand, but much in your mind. I was going to keep it anyways. No, I'm keeping this. Besides, it doesn't weigh a thing. All right. Let's see what we got over here. Dumbbell. Um, 
You don't need a dumbbell. It's my weight set. Just in case you're wondering where this incredibly muscular bod comes from. I wasn't. I know. Take one last look at this bod, because after today, we're taking the fast train to Tubbsville. My only reason for throwing that away is because one, it's frigging... Look at the Much weight of this. Come from Earth. I used to bring this with me everywhere as a kid. It's light I mean, as a feather. The galaxy is a dangerous place. I feel like it's okay to keep one keepsake from each of them. <laughs> My emergency stash of Centauri spirits. They helped me to... Act like a fool? No. Relax. They helped me to relax. You can buy more. Nah. Need to keep my wits about me. Probably shouldn't throw that under your bed. Well, the dream of a Guardians baseball team dies today. I've never owned anything before, but I wish I had something to throw away to help the team. Even though you said these things are who you are. Here, you can start your own collection of odds and ends that you'll be forced to throw away in order to escape a giant alien worm. Thank you, Peter. This is the best... Baseball glove. The best baseball <laughs> glove I've ever seen. Oh dear. But yeah. Gather round and be led. Right, hang on. I'm just gonna point out the reason I paused this is because there are a lot of audio issues, even in the game, and I don't know why. Um, they do sort of fix themselves, so for example, certain lines will get cut off before the next one starts. So they're trying to fix itself. It's just I don't know why it's been so laggy today. Huh. Looks like you kept a few things. Only the essentials. I guess this is a case where half-assed is better than no-assed. I'm actually a little surprised he came back with anything. My ego's swelling here. All right, since you're not absolutely pathetic, I'll ditch the guns. Hmm. Fine. Same with my swords. My... I am Groot. Are you sure? Keep it, man. Man, that is really sad. Isn't it like a cousin or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. You should keep it. To be fair, Agreed. to be fair, Groot doesn't have that much stuff. When did we get him? When did what? How did it get in here? Probably followed us through the caves. This is why you don't befriend strange creatures. Are you still no, yes. no way. Get rid of it. But he's so lonely. That little bastard ran us straight into a trap. We're keeping him. That's the end of it. Fine. What else we got to ditch? Well, I think Mantis has something to... I don't know what you mean. <clears throat> the thing I got to, to give away. Oh, I want to keep it now. Fine, keep it. Uh, fine, keep it. It's, it's oh, only a baseball glove. No, thank you. The frustration you're feeling teaches me that things aren't worth the emotional baggage. Here. Great, great. So, we all did the thing and got rid of some stuff and we're such great friends now, but there's something I'd like to point out. The tape deck. No. I've done the numbers and that thing has to go. Okay. It's how we listen to tunes. It's how I share myself it's real weird and all but even with everything we're ditching it's still gonna be close if we want to play it safe we gotta toss it ah uh, that's the thing i can get another tape deck just as long as i can keep the tapes god damn it i don't want to okay. do it you win today's the day the music dies Rex! <laughs> oh Jesus, how is that that big? It is dead. Okay, with that thing gone, the rest of the stuff we stripped and those extra engines, we should actually be able to get out of here. Then it's go time. It's now or never. After Groot and I installed the engines you found? Yep, right after that. Exactly. I, I, 
if it's so depending on the stuff, it's like, okay, we can get another one of those. I mean, it had all the stickers on, which sucks that you can't get them back, but, you know, small price to pay and all that. Jesus Christ, I turned the heating on in my room for the first time, and this is a fucking warm... Jesus Christ. The heat in this room. Like, I turned it on, and it feels like... There's a fire between my legs. Because I'm wearing a dressing gown right now, I should explain. Not just, I've got my dick on the radiator. Ready to bust out of this rock lobster? Engines are online, Pete. Now we just gotta... Uh, pick an exit. Are we going out the back or going out the front? Uh, are you acting implying? Yes, this worm is a meat tunnel. We could either go out the mouth side or the back side. I am Groot. <laughs> Groot doesn't want to fly out of a giant worm's giant posterior. We're already facing the colon. We should head out the colon. Would you stop saying that word? It's the word for what it is. It is a colon. Well, I vote mouth. We already know the Milano uh, fits that way. I ain't got a ton of interest getting wedged in this thing. Uh, Say it, raccoon. Say colon. <laughs> Wormhole. Oh, I can't believe we're wasting time arguing about this. We're heading this. out the back. This is what's wrong with this team. The mouth has teeth. This creature could bite us in half. Knowing the weird crap we've seen in this place, I'm sure its butt has teeth. <laughs> we're going out the bum. Colon, Peter. It's pronounced colon. But yeah, the reason I'm saying out the arse is because of the fact that... We'll then go into the actual tunnel. If we go out the mouth, all that's gonna happen is there's a chance we could just crash into a cave. It's, it's gonna be gross. That hasn't been the ship's never gonna done. be clean again. Just get us out alive, please. No problem. We'll be out of here faster than you can say. Explosive diarrhea. Of course. Of course. Come on. Oh, that's lovely. Man, you guys are totally missing out. Okay, we never tell anyone. About this. The universe must hear of this glorious day. The Guardian's great colon escape. <gasps> How exciting! Go team. <laughs> what? You throw, you throw away one thing. I'm oh, keeping good. Going. Sounds like somebody's coming back for seconds. We just came out of your ass. Why do you okay, want us so okay, badly? I hear you. It looks like one of our shiny new engines got itself turned off during our grandiose exit back there. Can we fix it? Sure, you can. Just climb out onto that wing and turn it back on. Me? No, I didn't volunteer. Yeah, well, you're the only one who can sort of fly, so it's got to be you. Uh, fine. Okay, I'm out here. Are you going to slow down so I can do this? And let the giant hungry monster catch up to us again? I don't think so. I'm just going to tilt the ship so you can walk around the wing. Ready? Uh, I don't think that's a safe One, two, three. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works, but... Oh well. Incoming! Giant worm monster! Okay, Pete, I gotta right this thing! Hold on to something! Wait, Rocket, don't you dare! Fucking... Jesus Christ. How's it going, Quill? You still with us? Yeah, I'm hanging in there. Good. Now when you get to the engine, all you gotta do is hit the big blinky button on the side. Can you handle this? Yes, Rocket, I think I can manage the simple task of... Hey! 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 While we're still alive, Quill! It's back on, Rocket! Punch it! I just, I didn't, I didn't, I wasn't okay. aware they could jump. Peter, I thought you fixed the engine. I did, and trust me, it's still working. It's not the engine, it's the, what? 
How is that leaking? How is what leaking? The inertial compensator! Somebody help me steer this freaking thing! Come on, come on, come on, Q, 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 Q. I don't understand! The compensated gel all runs inside the ship. How did that get damaged? Yeah, so uh, one or two of the worms may have made it inside. Well, somebody deal with them before the ship sheds itself apart! Come, tree. We shall peacefully resolve the situation with our knives. Ah, peacefully. Nothing says peaceful like murder. <laughs> <laughs> Peaceful for the rest of your fucking life, you're dead. But I am Now we get to go on Jax's murder spree. <laughs> is that it? That's all he did. Just kicked it in the friggin' face. That is enough to kill a worm. Which one of them is blue, I'm wondering. Also, I've heard apparently Star Lord might be an NPC high, so the thing I've been saying I wish happened this entire time might actually happen. Don't you dare, Drax. Drax, no. So I got if you sacrifice Quill, yourself. Step on it. What do you think I'm doing, Quill? Your little friend did some damage to our guts downstairs. Hang on, I'm coming back in. Drax, what are you? This is my chance, Peter, to protect my new family. Like I never did for Hovat and Kamaria. I told my daughter to run and fight another day. I have run for years. This is the day I fight. I will go alone into battle and slice this beast from mouth to colon. You will not have a good day. Well, you better do something quick down there. The ship's breaking up. Drax now. Please, Peter. Give me this. Drax. We're losing engine power! I am! We can't keep this up! Tell me what I have to do. I'm gonna help you, man. Hit the button once I am inside. I will take care of the rest. Thank you. My family will be proud. And I will tell them of my best friend. He's gonna live. Peter Quill. Or the ejection thing isn't gonna work and he's just gonna be stuck in there. Give that ugly thing some help. No, it gets nothing. I will just kill it. That is all. <laughs> Alright then. Die meat tube is his last words that we hear. Whatever you did, did the trick. Whoa, you okay? Nice work, buddy. I am Groot. Why? What happened? You okay, Pete? Where's Drax? <laughs> no. 
Peter, where's Drax? He died a hero. He's the reason we're still here. What's that mean? He jumped from the airlock to slow the creature down. No! What? He's... gone? We have to go back. Hold on, hold on, we can't go back. We're limping as it is. Oh, so this is how you keep us together. By launching one of us out the airlock? I, I helped him. He want, that's what he wanted it's to do. A long ride to nowhere. Drax will be alive. I guarantee it. There we go, finally. Nice landing. Man, she looks pretty rough, huh? Ugh, it smells even worse. Not that I'm surprised. After what we've put her through. I'm sure that smell will go away. And then, you, you know, it'll get better, right? Yeah. Seems like this might be the kind of stink that never goes away. Oh, great. That, that's good to hear. My ship smells like a worm's ass. The thing about, you know, with, uh... Ah, damn it, Pete. Drax. What I'm saying is, I know it must have been tough, but it was the right call. Glad I didn't have to make it. So, uh, yeah. I think his family would be proud. That was the I entire reason to see them again. Yeah, I don't, I don't really believe that, but nice thought. His family would be proud. Yeah, whatever you have to tell yourself, Peter. Oh, come on! Look around, Rocket. There are two less guardians here, in case you haven't noticed. You need the backup. I just thought we had a leader who would fight for us. All I of did, us. I did. Well, I just want to hear what he was thinking. He wanted to jump to save us. What's so hard to understand it's about that? It's hard to understand why you'd allow him to do that. It's because that's what he wanted. Please. The anger is overwhelming. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to tell you one more time, lady. Back up. You back up. I ain't going anywhere. <laughs> Don't. The guy did what he had to Stop do. Stop it, please. I ain't happy about Drax being gone. But I am happy to still be breathing. You should embrace that a little bit. That we can stand here having this stupid argument I at all. I trusted Peter to keep us all safe. I thought he understood that. I can't keep everyone from dying. No leader can. What we do is dangerous. I know that. But this is one time you could have. We talked about this in the caves and you still don't get it. And now I have another <sighs> weighing on me. Why are you? Ah! I can't take it. There is too much conflict with you. Too much anger, resentment, and sadness. Your pain is overwhelming each of you. It's too much for me to be around. If you disagree with each other so much, why don't you all simply walk away? Your feelings for one another are all at war. Well, because we're family. And you don't quit on family. Like you didn't quit on Drax. Like Drax didn't quit on all of us. Like you're not gonna quit until we're all patronized to death? Being around you, this is too old for me, for me. Thank you for freeing me and teaching me that the loudest shouter is usually the most correct. <laughs> I must go. Oh. Of course. That's got to be some sort of record. 
She's basically been chained to us up until now. She gets two minutes of free will and we drive her away. I am Groot. I am proud of myself in a weird way. You're right about one thing, Peter. We are family. But Thanos was my family too. And sometimes being in a family sucks. So, good luck. I understand. If you need to go, then go. Thank you, Peter. Be well. There we go. I, I think that was the nicest thing, response. Peter. Yikes. Groot, I need a hug. Give me hugs, please. Groot. What? Why would you do that? What? what? What did he say? Groot, come on. I am Groot. He's going. He's leaving us. I am Groot. Peter. What about me? I am Groot. What about Rocket? You guys are best friends. Yeah. What about me? I am Groot. He says he doesn't want Mantis to be alone. I am Groot. That I have you. I am Groot. I understand. He knows I understand what it's that. like to be the last of his kind and alone out there. I am Groot. And he knows how important it is to find someone to look out for you. I am... I am Groot. He says I need to stay and keep an eye on you. He's saying a bunch of sad stuff. <laughs> I love you, buddy. I am Groot. Rocket's all mushy, it's adorable. Now give me a big fat hug, Groot. Come on. Nah, okay, I'll take your hand. Goodbye, friend. I am Groot. I wanted a hug, but... Nah, I'm hugging you. Come here. I am Groot. Hey, I got a hug from Groot. That, that's my day satisfied. Yeah, just go on, why don't you? I didn't mean it. Come here, man. Who knew trees had such big hearts, huh? What a jerk. <laughs> <coughs> I'm really gonna miss that tree. Yeah, me too. Well, Rocket, I guess you'll be leaving too. About that, I think I'm gonna stick around for a while. I mean, it's clear you couldn't get on without me. Besides, I'm in the market for a new partner. Thanks, pal. Hey, this is purely a business decision. I expect results. <laughs> of course. Well, what now? Only one thing left to do at a moment like this. Get fucking wasted. Barkey, two of your most lethal concoctions, please. Better make it three. Best idea you've had in a long time. Eight or nine rounds, then we find Hulk. We have some breaking news. Reports are flying in about a violent Kree attack on Jabari 5. Millions are feared dead. Hey, Pete. I found her. Oh, dear. See, that's the problem with Telltale, that would have happened regardless of whether we destroyed the forge or not. And that's what's a bit annoying. Right, well at least we finished off that episode. Gonna have a look at how many other results. State. You and 0% of players. What? You and 0% of players? Uh, what? 
Am I the only person in the world who got that combination? But Drax and Nebula are dead. Hala's had the forge destroyed. Groot and Gamora are missing in action. And Rocket's the only guardian left. Is that it? Uh, yeah, we've been forward with the coming trip. We uh, we travel with Gamora and Groot. We uh, exited out the back of the worm because, of course, why not? We helped Drax. Like, I'm glad I was in the majority for that. I feel like if I wasn't, I might get a bit of anger. Hot off players finished with a new friend. 3.6 players are it. Hostile the worm and 10.9% of players detach ditch the worm inside the stomach. I was in the majority for all of them. Let's have a quick look at these uh this finishing cutscene. I'm curious to see because obviously there's interviews and shit. But if all of the other guardians are either dead or missing, then how are we supposed to get interviews? Unless, of course, we use Hala to bring everyone we lost back. Which I reckon is probably what's going to end up happening. Because I'm fairly certain they're working on- they're going to work on a second season of this. They tend to do that. Apart from With the Wolf Among Us, which is probably the best Telltale series outside The Walking Dead, and they just haven't done it. And it really pisses me off. Like, a lot more than it should. I haven't even got it on PC. I just played it a lot- I played uh, through it when I had it on my Xbox. Maybe that was it? No, like, oh, well, to be fair, it can't be uh, the what happened next episode because we've already got the next episode available. Right, so I'd like to thank you all for watching. My name is Bean Sardinger. Leave a like if you are enjoying this series. If you enjoy, if you are enjoying the series, subscribe to become a truce and keep to date with everything that I post. Good day, and I'll see you next time.